Hello everyone. This uh, this is science learner book uh, for grade three, Cambridge. Today I'm starting uh, unit three, lesson three point four, translucent uh, materials. So we are going to learn about uh, talk about transparent, translucent, and opaque material. Stress if when you're using glass in, in your investigation. So let's start. These children are telling a story. How are the shadow made? Now how do we see them on the large sheet of uh, fabric? As you can see here. Now we are using different board or different uh, skateboard, making a story on the man. So let's start. Translucent glass. Before this, I want to tell you about three things. There are three kind of material of IQ, uh, which one completely block the light and make a shadow. After this, uh, transparent. Uh, the light passed through from the transparent object completely 100% or more than, uh, you can say more than 90%. So you can see uh, the other side, like in the water or in the glass or Google's uh, or, or your if you're wearing uh, if you're wearing uh, the sunglasses, so you can see outside easily. So it's more than ninety. Why? Because the light uh, passes through and transparent object easily. After this, uh, translucent the third kind, uh, and from which uh, fifty or forty percent can light pass through, but uh, some part of the light can pass through and some parts of the light block. The glass is usually transparent. It let the light pass through. You can read through transparent glass. Obviously, uh, the arrow on the on these diagrams show how the light uh, travel. So a transparent glass light pass straight through. Light from object pass uh, straight through. We can see the thing clearly. Obviously, if you're wearing if you're wearing the glasses, uh, sometimes glasses are uh, frosted or uh, patterned to make it translucent. Okay, this light is uh, scattered by translucent glass, so it is harder to see uh, through it. Obviously, because uh, you can see the arrow, it's not reflecting directly straight into your eyes, so you can read it on different sides. So it is harder to read through translu uh, translucent material. And translucent material actually cannot pass through all the light. It blocks some light. Translucent, uh, uh, translucent glass light is scattered. Light from object is scattered. Things do not look clearly. So translucent glass is useful when we don't want people to see clearly through the glass. We are also using mostly uh, in, 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 in homes uh, for making windows. So the people cannot see from outside to inside. And also uh, this one you can say in, uh, uh, for also blocking, uh, blocking you can say some portion of the light uh, to stop to coming inside, not uh, full light coming to the home. Oh. So we use this uh, to make a shadow or translucent material also. So let's, uh, let's do the activity. Activity number one, make a shadow uh, theater screen. You will need a large box uh, with one side uh, remove and uh, grease proof, paper, sticky tape, lollipop stick card, stick you should be need, and a scissor and other thing. Okay, Sara has made a theater screen with the translucent paper. Uh, so translucent paper, it's been not full, uh, not all the door, but uh, it's the, the light can pass through, through it. Uh, so she used a thank you card to make uh, shadow puppets uh, to tell the story on the screen. Sarah shines a flash tag to make uh, the shadow. So you can see uh, this one, the torch, the light source, the puppet, different things, and on the screen, you can see. So from here, it's showing the dark, uh, the uh, the 
shadows and the boy can be using this translucent object. So make here your own theater preparing using a box and translucent paper. Use a pack you card to make shadow puppet. Obviously, this card is a pack you because uh, it's the block the light and it's a shadow puppet showing here. So uh, think like a sun, just transparent or translucent. You will need a sheet uh, of clear paper or the transparent and translucent thing or paper. Oh, okay, let's start. Sophia is testing different material to see if they are transparent or translucent. Simple word, if it's a clear, clear glass, so it is transparent, all the light can pass through. Translucent object, some part of the, of the light goes can pass through, but some part it's not. I can read word through the clear plastic, it is transparent. I can't read uh, through the translucent material because they scatter the light. So you can test the material to see if uh, it is transparent or not. All the writing on the side of the clear plastic, can you look through the clear plastic and read and, uh, and read or write? So obviously, you can use transparent and translucent object. Okay, transparent material allow you to read the writing, read and write clearly, and translucent material don't allow you to read the write and read and the writing clearly. Okay, after this, uh, you are using different material, drinking glass, sunglasses, and wallpaper and cardboard, different material. And uh, what uh, after test, it's transparent, translucent, transparent, or translucent. If it's a paper, you can say this is trans uh, paper, hard paper, so it's a vacuum object. If it is a uh, soft paper, so you can, the light can pass through this, you can say translucent. So the translucent plastic, something you can see, the light can pass through easy. Uh, activity two. Pack you transparent transport different material you can collect it and then you can find in a pack you object at one place transparent and on the other and uh, translucent object on the other place. So you will need uh, a collection of uh, different material of pack you transparent and translucent. Uh, so a long string paper clip, flashlight, scissor, three levels uh, for uh, for these uh, title with a vacuum, transparent and translucent. After this, uh, arrange material in order from vacuum to transparent. Test the material with the flashlight check. The, they block the light or no, 100%, 50% or 0%. You can see, uh, this one in the vacuum object, and as you see on the background, it's uh, the, the, the shadow of uh, the dinosaur it get. It's bigger. Why? Because it's near to the light source. Or you can see maybe in its uh, other hand, it's uh, the torch of light of the mobile. So it's uh, near to the light source and on the wall, it's uh, the bigger shadow. Okay, in like this, we finish uh, lesson 3.4, translucent material. Next uh, lesson in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.